Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature the latest offering from Talbot Shaving, and this is Author's Ridge. So I've already got this loaded up in my West Coast Shaving honeycomb brush, and we're gonna get right into a face lather. So Author's Ridge is inspired by a section of the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, which is found in Concord, Massachusetts. And this is most notably a cemetery which many transcendentalist authors such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Thoreau, Margaret Fuller, Walt Whitman, uh, amongst many others, are buried. And the transcend the excuse me the transcendentalist movement is something that is very prevalent in Chad's life. Chad is the artisan behind, or rather hobbyist behind Talbot Shaving, and. He has been inspired by many of these authors' works. In particular, this movement was really uh, centered around individualism, idealism, and the divinity of nature, which as we know, Talbot Shaving uh, supports heavily the aspect of nature. What I can also say is that this scent is um, a culmination of at least a year in the making. Many trips to the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery and Author's Ridge um, really kind of gave this scent the traction and the inspiration behind it. And therefore it is also uh, probably the most personal scent to date. I can tell you off the bat that there are no uh, listed or provided scent notes for this, but that is intended to really uh, kind of paint your own picture. Um, I know that some other artisans have, have started doing this as well, and it's really, um, I think it, it, it opens your mind, really, to, to make your own interpretations, what you get with these scents, and uh, it, it, it really allows you to be a little bit more creative in the mind. and. Um, you know, really kind of formulate your own thoughts on it and not really be so focused on specific notes, which I, I can really appreciate. So before I forget, I have two days of growth. I've got a really nice lather. Talbot always really produces an, an excellent lather for me. So I'm really not concerned too much about the performance of this soap. But we will start out with the grain and I'll give you my interpretations of the scent. So the scent is definitely a fall inspired scent. I can tell you that Author's Ridge was actually dedicated On September 29th 1855 and so this scent is loosely based on the um, what it was like when the that section of the cemetery was dedicated as well as written descriptions many years later
and what it was essentially described as. And also, based on Chad's interpretation and his experiences with walking through Authors Ridge as well. And then the final uh, inspiration, if you will, was to include what it, a typical fall in New England would be like with the dry leaves. For me, the the dry leaves is certainly the um, it's the prominent uh, scent that I get, but this also has a a little bit of a darker element to it. I would not necessarily classify that darkness as sort of like a, um, we'll say like a Bear Sturm and Hollows um, or, or anything along. It, it's kind of along those lines, but it it's not intended to really uh, be a prominent note, but it is, it is detectable. Not making a mess with this lather, my apologies. And there is a uh, slight spiciness to it, but for me, that is almost uh, undetectable. I think it is well blended into the scent. I can tell you for me personally, what I can relate to is um, being on the East Coast, I'm not quite as North as Massachusetts, but um, I do, experienced some very cold winters, some bitter chills, and this scent reminds me a lot more of specifically the beginning of fall, when you first get those cooler temperatures in the air. This is a scent I would picture um, sort of maybe a slightly windier day. And if the wind were to pick up sort of those dry, dead leaves and really carry that scent around, that is what I get from this. It is, it's really nice. It's very unique. It's, it's got subtle complexity to it, but overall it is just, it, it absolutely epitomizes the scent of fall in my mind. Now with the darkness, there is sort of, um, it, it can be interpreted as a little bit earthy. But again, I wouldn't say it's really overly earthy. I think this scent in general is just, it's, it's very well blended. And um, I think the, the dry leaves are really sort of the, the most prominent scent that I get. This past two will go against the grain. Now, in terms of the base, this is still in the version two base from Talbot Shaven, which is absolutely excellent. One of my favorite bases. Very easy to lather. Can take a ton of water. The slickness is outstanding.
and the post shave is phenomenal as well. And as you'll see at the end, the this release um, is one of the newer offerings uh, in collaboration with Mal Grooming, which I have reviewed in the past, and um, it remains probably my favorite post shave product. So this collaboration really. is nothing short of enjoyable. I think many have experienced this uh, this soap, and um, it is just it's everything you could ask for and more in a uh, in a base. The performance is is just outstanding. It's something that I always tend to reach for when given the opportunity. All right, that was outstanding as, uh, as I would have expected. Wipe off the blade here. All right, let me just rinse off my face and we'll get to the post shave. So as I mentioned, I'll be pairing it with the Moal Grooming's aftershave. This contains uh, alcohol and witch hazel, um, a lot of a lot of great great skin food ingredients. Mmm. Now from the from the aftershave, <clears throat> I do get uh, more of a sort of um, it's it's very dry leaf heavy, but almost like burned leaves. It's um, it really gives it a kick in terms of smokiness, which I I quite enjoy. I'm a big fan of fall scents. It's my favorite time of the year. Uh, therefore, a lot of these scents and releases that drop in the fall that are fall inspired um, really tend to to draw me in a little bit more. But um, yeah, that was an absolutely fantastic shave. And I should mention that the um, on the anniversary of the cemetery's dedication, uh, specifically Authors Ridge. The date and time that Authors Ridge will be dropping is Sunday, September 29th at 6.55 p.m. And that is Eastern Standard Time. So if you are in the market, if, it, if this scent sounds interesting to you at all, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, I believe there should be double the stock of um, soaps, at least, for this release. I know it's a very personal um project for Chad and I think uh, there was a lot that went into this it's not hard to tell I think if you're really into fall inspired scents this will definitely hit the mark for you I would highly recommend checking it out well that's it for me guys that was a great shave I enjoyed it I hope you did as well look forward to seeing you for the next one see ya